Good morning, bitch. I am big pimping and big simping. How the fuck are you doing? I'm here to talk about bitch ass niggas, but mostly about men that I have dated who ended up being shitheads. So just since I want to get this right off the bat that I have definitely been unhinged over the course of my relationships. I keep it together like 90% of the time and then the last 10% is when I finally go, oh wait, this is them being inherently toxic. Maybe I should just tell them exactly how the fuck they got me fucked up. And I do. Then they get mad. Then shit breaks out. You know the story. I don't even need to say it all. Y'all know. Let me just say this. I saw a post on Tumblr that was basically like, what did it say? We've all had the, it would be weird if we didn't talk one day conversations with people we don't talk to anymore. And trust me, bitch, I'm going through a breakup right now and I'm finally hitting the point of just fucking leave him because I've always put in more effort all the fucking time. The main reason I did not want to date him in the first place was because I thought this man is not going to be the type to put in any effort to get me. Eventually we ended up talking some more and getting together and whatnot and then they actually did put an effort. They just one day told me on the exact same day that I internally went, yeah, I should officially move on to someone else. They must have somehow, the universe gave them a sign and they just went, hey, so should I like try to be as romantic as possible so that we can try, you know, to actually have you enjoy your time with me. And I was like, holy shit, how the fuck did you know that? But then I said, sure, we agreed. We started dating, it was cute as fuck, we went ice skating, did this, did that, but then he went on and then started simping for that one bitch Azalea who I've mentioned on here. I don't give a fuck, fuck that bitch. And now, long story short, I'm moving on. I've just, it's official. He's not gonna be the person I want him to be and several times he's done that thing where I guess the first time I broke up with him I almost considered getting back with him. But then he said, no, maybe we should stay apart. It was pretty toxic when we broke up. Because, yeah, I did flash on his ass. And it was very not so polite the way I did it. I was very toxic. And I, yeah, I'm admitting that since I know it was toxic. I forgot what I was saying. Sorry, I'm at work. Give me a second. I forgot whatever I was saying before. But basically, I need to move on from this man. Because he's just not going to be the person I want him to be. Like, he's let a man spit in my face and walk away without any sort of repercussions. Like, if a man can spit in my face and you're my boyfriend and you let him walk away unscathed, uncursed out, all that, clearly you are not meant to be my boyfriend. If I can tell you how uncomfortable it makes me that you're hanging out with a bitch who you know damn straight hates me for absolutely no fucking reason other than what she's read online and even that shit doesn't add up, and then for some reason is opposed to meeting me, but still you insist on hanging out with her late at night. Do you not see how that looks weird and makes it look like, oh, look, this chick has a crush on me, and I know that, and I'm going to continue seeing her no matter what day, time, or hour, instead of recognizing, hey, my girlfriend is uncomfortable. And just also uninviting me from my birthday party. Admittedly, I did curse that bitch out. She had it coming. I should not have insulted her artwork, but to be honest, her shit wasn't even that good. Unrelated. Sorry, this is unrelated. Anyway, it was just a fucking lame-ass relationship. I loved lots of sections of it. But now he's just back to how he was in the very beginning. Going back to the state of not caring about how I felt, not doing anything to improve things, and just... It's always me putting in the effort to try and convince him to do more. And I deserve better than that. What sucks is that several times before he actually has done the whole like, oh hey, I broke up with him, he didn't want to get back together doing the thing, blah blah blah. Then I ask for my stuff back, like hey, can I have my fireworks and my candles back? And then when it comes to him just simply coming to my house just to simply drop the shit off, then suddenly he's texting me like, oh actually, sorry, I got a little emotional so I had to stop texting. Just, you know, I can't imagine a world where I don't talk to you anymore. Yeah, yeah, yada, we ended up getting back together, then like, what a fucking week and a half, maybe even less than a week later, we broke up again. And then it's like, okay, can I have the gift I gave you that you didn't like in the first place back? And then he's like, oh, how dare you? Or, well, no, at first he agrees. And I'm like, cool, now that it's a new decade and I want to do better for myself, I want to actually move past this, put it behind us and just move on with my life. But then this nigga fucking suddenly 
just refuses to come by and he's like, oh, actually, it's so sentimental and I like that relationship and this and that fucking whining. Where was that energy when it came to me asking you to resolve things or put in an effort and not simp for your fucking best friend? When did that energy come up? Like, you know, you can't really, when I give you a handmade painting and a bunch of pins related to your interests and like politics and Marxism and hippie music. Oops, I had to pause again. Maybe you could defend me. Maybe you could protect me. Maybe you could actually put in an effort and I won't have to tell you what every other fucking person that I have fucking known knows what a normal person should do in a relationship. And then it all just circles back to maybe I should have just never gave this fucker a chance in the first place. Like, you can't... I gave him such a nice gift and then the day I gave it to him he was so ungrateful about it like he literally groaned at the handmade painting I spent hours I literally went to bed at like 3 a.m. because it took me so long to prepare everything just for him to not even fucking like it and then all he did was complain like he didn't even go oh I like these pins oh I like this painting I think it's really cute and it's sweet and I genuinely appreciate it he just instantly went to the bumper sticker that said something about like I think it said like no coffee no worky and I thought oh it's quirky and he literally drinks four cups of coffee a day or else he can't function and he has a car so I'll get him some bumper stickers along with the like pins and shit I gave him. And this nigga just spent like two minutes straight just complaining like oh well I like coffee but I don't like coffee related gifts like that's a certain vibe you know and just complaining just fucking complaining. Do you know how heartbreaking that shit is? I literally went to his bathroom and then cried and then ate dinner with his family sure but then you know. I felt like fucking shit just for him to give me like what he got me was somewhat sweet it was a pair of earrings but if you saw them you would know that it wasn't even like you know it's not something he put actual thought into it was literally like a buy one get another one with it just for the sake of he pre-bought me a gift for Christmas at Thanksgiving and not even one that he thought I'd like he just went oh well this one is earrings so I'll get her another pair of earrings that she already owns. I already- this- he got me some like overpriced fake pearl earrings and the sad thing is that I already owned like a full pack of them that only cost like a dollar for like a pack of ten of them so anyway. So long story short, uh, I'm not gonna say how the rest of the night went, it was too emotional, but he put in no fucking effort. And he was ungrateful as hell that day. And only when I actually confronted him about how ungrateful he was to complain about a gift and barely even muster a thank you. In fact, I don't even think he did at the time. Yeah. Oh, I hate how it ended. <sighs> Just for, you know, suddenly when it comes... Oh, and then he broke up with me like three days later. Right when things were going good, it's like, hey, I'm breaking up with you because I can't believe that you were sad that I uninvited you to my birthday party because the friend who hates you that I told you not to worry about doesn't want you to come. Like, you fucking punk ass bitch. Anyway, long story short, we cut this nigga off. Fuck this dude. Fuck this dude entirely. In fact, no, we are not. Well, okay, I may fuck him again. Okay, uh, I'm not. I may. I'm somewhat set in stone, but like, gently. Like, if someone put, like, scraped a, with their key into a stone. I'm not like fully set in stone, but like, you know, because sex is good. Moving on. And suddenly he was out here complaining, like, how are you gonna be like, oh yeah, our relationship had more bad than good, and it was toxic and I hated it, just to be like, oh, but I like uh, your gift, when you hated it when you first got it. Doing all this, doing all that, just to be like, oh, actually, I want to keep your gift. Because it reminds me of the good in our relationship. Like, no, nigga, you literally got the gift, didn't like it, then ended the relationship three days later because you saw no fucking value in it. You don't deserve to keep a gift like that. Fuck you. Moving on. And so I can just tell this is going to be another sad circumstance. I felt bad for wanting to cut him off, but it's Valentine's Day week and... You know, if I want to be out here strutting down Little Italy in San Francisco with some heels on, a nice red dress, and having someone fawn over me as I eat pizza and pasta and wine, that's clearly not going to happen if it's going to be with some dude who most likely will have sex with me, leave me on red for a week, 
And then on Friday, we'll either leave me on red or I'll literally have to beg to get me some fucking Ferrero Rocher. So therefore, no. So I decided that I want to do better for myself than a person who, you know, if I have to beg someone to get to cough up three bucks for some CVS head ass candy, they're not worth talking to. And that's my decision. I just, and it's going to be for the better. What's sad is that I thought I'm going to feel so terrible about this because he's such a, or what I thought was a great guy, but I dated a guy before him also named Patrick. I truly genuinely loved this man. He to this day is one of the best people I have ever dated along with second Patrick. I like, people who know me know just how genuinely I felt towards this man. He was sexy, vivacious, charismatic, confident. He could walk up to any single fucking person and become their best friend within 10 seconds. He was that type of guy. Genuinely friendly, all this shit. He was a cheapskate though, but you know, maybe I'll find a decent person someday. And he literally did the same shit before, cause you know, one day we woke up because he had to go back to college after our summer fling happened. He came back during like, I don't know, September. We hooked up and then the whole night I was just laying in his arms with him talking about everything we've been up to, how deeply we felt for each other. And he was crying because he sincerely, genuinely wished that there was a way for us to still be together since he liked me that much. He was literally crying as he held me in his arms and held my hand. And I loved that night. But guess what? That nigga then promptly left me on red. There's a pause in this podcast because there's a day change. Just letting y'all know as I'm editing. Okay? Hold on a sec. I had, I'm back a whole, like, 24 hours later because at that point I think I was getting off my job. And anyway... But yeah, so I went from thinking, oh, this nigga really does like me, because it's been like two or three months, or however much time passed between, never, I don't even know, like, maybe it was a month, maybe two, I don't give a fuck, it's not that important, but it was a long ass time, I hooked up with other people, he attempted to and failed, because he claimed he wasn't attracted to them, and I thought, yeah, this man really does like me, and maybe we could still stay in touch and just see how things go. But the way things went was that he would then hook up with other chicks and leave me on red and just ignore me. Not very fucking cool. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sick. I'd be okay if it were like not him blatantly admitting that was why he was leaving me on red. Because it's one thing if it's like, oh hey, I'm busy studying and then a whole nother, well, it's still shitty, but a little bit more shitty to be like, oh yeah, I'm sorry, I, I just got done hanging out with this girl, I brought her back to my place after this party, and then, you know, another party where I also bought this, and just talking all about these girls he's been hooking up with. Oh, you know, if your ex-girlfriend basically hears you talking non-stop about how you're so busy with work and school and also with the free time you do have you are openly fucking other women or he tried to pull out oh well all i do is like cuddle with them naked because i don't trust them enough to have sex with them and there's nothing else we can do so i can't take them on a date so we just hang out butt ass naked and i'm not attracted to them so it's okay we just make out kiss cuddle and i just don't stick my dick in and then Nigga, you're fucking weird, but okay. <coughs> he claimed that he was only attracted to me and that he could not stand being around other women, but clearly, like, not enough to not have his mouth on their titties. But anyway, moving on. Oh, and then this nigga got upset when he heard that I fucking moved on. Like, the second he found out that I had been actually seeing someone and it got official, he was so shocked. Like, how is it surprising? You're literally ignoring me for fucking months. And in that time, the exact same amount of time you had to be working, going to school, sucking other girls' tits, I had the exact same amount of free time. In fact, even more, because I did not work or go to school. So painfully, a lot more free time. And they don't look. I just so happened to meet some nerd on Instagram who I thought was hot. And then we ended up doinking it. And then we ended up going, hey, we like doinking it and each other. Let's date. And then we dated. 
it was an open relationship at the time so it's not like he was even being cut off it was just basically like this nigga was so hurt like oh my god I can't believe you caught feelings for someone else what about me the guy who does not care about your feelings and is fucking other women he is atrocious for that and I called him a thought on voicemail long story short I don't talk to that ex Anyway, I forgot where I was going with that story. But I mean, just like I thought that that man was supposedly head over heels for me is probably why I was so attached to my ex. By the way, it's a whole 24 hours later, I listened to like Beyonce singing Why Don't You Love Me and a whole bunch of other songs like Dead To Me by Kali Uchis and hella breakup songs. So long story short, I am fully the fuck ready to move on from this motherfucker. The other day I was in my feelings, today I am ready to go fuck someone else. Because genuinely, I'm just aware that no matter how much a man can say he has feelings one way or another or seem like he's this way or that way, he can dump me off. Since, you know, things were going perfect with me and my most recent ex, then, oh, one little fucking birthday party later, and I mean nothing to him. It, well, okay, more happened. I should not downplay uh, instances of po potential things that I don't want to admit right now. But... I'm just gonna say, he, I forgot what I was gonna say, <coughs> I really fucking liked that guy, and he jumped me off coldly, and it's been dead for about a month, excluding us having sex recently, and I am no longer interested in doing the serenity prayer of like, oh, Sure, I can accept the things that I can't change, but what if I can change the things I can't accept? Because this is just an instance of, yeah, how long do I really want to wait just pulling out my own teeth in terms of trying to get this guy to potentially give me another chance? Even though he doesn't even fucking deserve one in the first place, as everyone I know has told me. Anyway, just like I thought that Patrick number one, you know, the hot summer guy, was head over heels for me just to promptly go from, oh wow, I can't imagine a world where we no longer talk, to being the one who, when he actually has the opportunity to talk to me, leaves me on wet to fuck other bitches. Yeah, fuck that nigga. And so now this new one is like that, and I'm done with him. Hello, universe. I am opening myself up to new, beautiful people. Men or women. Talented, beautiful, funny, and hopefully intelligent with fucking morals. You know, things like that. Because... I'm so sick, so, so sick, the bullshit, that's all, peace out.